now when we were talking about this thing here, let's hold down shift and turn everything off. So we've got this guy, he's got a polypane on him, and he also has subdivision history. So what I can do is I can go to Z plugin, uh, UV master. Uh, he is symmetrical, so we can do symmetry. We don't have polygroups on here, but I would use polygroups to uh, split him up if you would need to, but I'm just going to do a quick unwrap, and then we'll flatten him uh, without, oh, whoops. Okay, always do this too. Work on clone, <laughs> and then you can do uh, unwrap, the flatten. There's my pelt. Um, so now I can unflatten him, go copy UVs, and then I can go back over here to my anteater, and then I can just paste UVs. And now, when I subdivide him up, you're going to see he has UVs now, and he has this. So if I want to go out here, if I want to bake from my low res to my high res, all I got to do is go to my, where is it at? Multi-map exporter, and I can bake out a displacement map, normal map, texture from polypaint, and the occlusion cavity. I can export all of these. Uh, just really quickly, though, I go down here to texture map, create, new from polypaint, and now you can see I've got my polypaint as a texture. And then you can just go to clone texture, and then go to your texture over here, and you can export this, or you can go to texture up here, have it selected, and go to export, and you just export that texture out.